Egypt are calling it a breakthrough, a deal at a major wildlife conference to restrict international trade in five species of sharks and the manta ray. But the delegates stopped short of imposing a full ban. They're the predators that spark fear in the hearts of many, but it seems the sharks have more reason to be afraid. As many as 100 million are killed each year. It's a massive problem here in Australia. Um, our northern reefs have been virtually obliterated. That's because of a craving for their fins, considered a delicacy in parts of Asia. Most go to Hong Kong, then on to the biggest market in the world, mainland China. Australian sharks aren't just hunted for export. You can still find shark fin soup on the menu at a number of restaurants here. Conservationists hope restricting trade in some species will stop the slide towards extinction and help boost tourism in areas including the Great Barrier Reef. A move led by China and Japan to block the proposal unsuccessful. We are disappointed the, at the result because we believe that uh, uh, this species can be managed by regional fisheries management organizations. Under Australian law, fishers must catch the whole shark, not just the fins. And that avoids the situation of a boat being able to fill itself up by completely depleting an area of sharks, but only actually carrying the fins on board. Conservationists say Australia should be more like Hawaii and parts of Canada. They have made it an offence to possess, sell or trade in shark fin. We want the same laws here in Australia. But McDowers says the move for more international protection is a good first step. Kathy Novak, World News Australia. And now a quick look at some of the other stories making news.